Hello viewers, watching us from BTN TV. As usual, I'm Mwesu Gamugua Bosco, Head Teacher Wisdom Center. Yes, uh, I always take you through science, that's uh, majorly primary six. And uh, we want to switch on, to go on. Actually, we start to recover, yes, the remaining parts, looking at uh, uh, the other topic of animals for this time. Yes, today I want to look at uh, the, to the subtopic um, about the uh, importance of rabbit farming. Yes, simply we talk about rabbit farming, uh, the same as rabbit keeping, which uh, refers to rearing rabbits. So we talk about rabbit farming, we want to rear rabbits mainly for commercial purposes. Okay, in this case, we want fo to focus majorly on the importance of keeping rabbits. Yes, so commercial rabbits farming in Rwanda can be actually great importance. Yes, uh, for example, in income, employment, name it, this is very important. That's why farmers actually in Rwanda, most of them, the they men are trying, uh, coming up with rabbit keeping and other animals. So farming is very important in, in uh, actually in general. So we can move probably and we look at uh, these purposes of rabbit keeping, whereby one see, yes, why, do we, why should we keep rabbits? Uh, so we can look at uh, uh, these pictures we see, uh, look, uh, yes, for the first point here, you can see that uh, this is uh, this is meat. So rabbits are good for meat production. You can see, uh, so this meat also can be sold for food. When you look at here, point two, you can see uh, this is a jacket. Yeah, it was just made from wool. So we can, you can see that uh, uh, the fur of rabbits is made into wool and then woven into cloth. So they can be used for cloth production. You can see this is very important to note with rabbits. <coughs> uh, yes, as we go on, we can see here, many rabbits are kept as pets. Uh, this is very, actually funny. Uh, those who don't, uh, maybe have not yet seen that, but in most, there are some families, yes, we find they have rabbits as pets. Pets just mean uh, an animal that you can play with at home. Yeah, people are used of having uh, like cats, having dogs as pets, but when rabbits are also good, uh, yes, as pet animals. Yeah, and this is uh, good. You can take us uh, the next point where we can see that uh, uh, in this picture here, this is a skin, you see, uh, of a rabbit. Yes, rabbit skins are very important. They can be used to make uh, different items like bags, gloves, uh, shoes, earmuffs, very many things, okay? So we can simply look at this as a very good importance of rabbits. So rabbit skins can be used to make uh, different items like shoes, bags, which is uh, very important. Uh, and then uh, when you look into this, this picture here, you can see here is a rabbit. These are droppings, yes. Actually, we call them droppings. In the case of a, uh, an animal, like a rabbit, we call them droppings. In, in the birds also, we call them droppings. Yeah, you can see it's droppings. Their droppings are used as manure. This is very important to the farmers doing agriculture, like, uh, yes, crop growing, you find it's very important to boost the growth of crops. So uh, this is very good. We can uh, move on to this side and see here. Yes, you can see here, uh, uh, this is a, a rabbit which is slaughtered. Okay, uh, yes, you can see that uh, this can actually help in it for study purpose, yes, when you're studying different lessons like uh, looking at the digestive system of, <clears throat> yes, of, uh, of animals, specifically like for a rabbit. This is designed different, this is the digestive system you can see. Uh, we shall look at the other side, but majorly you can find that rabbits are very important. They can be used for study purpose where we shall look at the details and look at different parts. Even here we are studying about rabbits, so that's a very important thing. So uh, this can, uh, yes, we can actually from here look at this and uh, practical, practically on the board here. Yes, so just right from the diagram here, yes, we've been studying about, about rabbits. Yeah, we can uh, look at uh, this question here. You can be asked, for example, like here, the diagram below shows the digestive system of a rabbit. And uh, 
right from uh, the work we've been learning, I've seen a ra a rabbit, still hard, and then uh, we can look at practically these internal parts. Uh, yes, we can look at uh, like this from very important from part P, whereby we can see part P, uh, part P, just here. Okay, can take that as esophagus. Esophagus. <clears throat> yeah, it can also be called gullet. Okay. Yeah, just like in humans, this takes yeah the same. But here we have just left the parts here of the mouth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this can be in case we are there, this will be the mouth parts. But from there, we just want to look at the internal parts, the digestive system, looking at the internal parts. Uh, so here, this is the esophagus, okay, uh, which uh, this where, where, where food passes through. Okay, this is from the mouth to the stomach. So we come to part Q. Part Q, yes, this is stomach. Okay. The stomach uh, is very important in the way that uh, this will actually, it is also helps in digestion, major of proteins in animals. So this is actually very common in all different animals, even if you, if you go for the uh, digestive system of, uh, let's say, birds, talk of cattle, human beings. Yeah, it's the same. So just take it easy. It's not something strange. So the stomach is important that uh, it helps in digestion. Of proteins. Yeah, when we move on part R, let us check on part R here. Yeah. Part R is the small intestine. Small, small intestines. Yes, this can also be called ileum. Okay, but uh, then we can look at this. Small intestine, if you, they, you can be asked the importance of this part here. And the small intestine here, actually this is where most digestion takes place. You can find that uh, this, there's a secretion of uh, pancreatic juice which comes within this side. Uh, the kind of uh, bile juice, oh, they secrete up to down here in this part. And you find that uh, this, yeah, so uh, yeah, we are still looking at uh, these division questions, which are very important to note, okay? Yeah, yeah, you asked this the criteria of choosing a rabbit rare. Yeah, remember last time we talked about, uh, uh, talked, talked about uh, the environment where the rabbit is raised from is very important. I uh, talked of the health of a rabbit, it's very important to note, okay? Talked about the age, yes, this is also very important. Rabbits, which are, let's say, between, let's say, one, uh, one and uh, one to two, actually, let's say one to, uh, uh, which are, let's say one middle is not all that good, but two to three months, you can adopt an environment. So check on uh, that, check on edge, check on uh, healthy, check on the environment. This is very important. Then uh, number four, we are asked, okay, what does a rabbit feed on? Yes. We discussed about very many things here. Yeah, yeah, okay, we learned last time we said uh, rabbits, you, uh, you can feed them majorly on green leafy vegetation. Okay, uh, you can feed them on carrots, you can feed them on beetroot. Okay, yes, turnips, uh, the pellets. Yes, and per we said for pellets, uh, they are commercial feeds. Okay, they are fish which you can just buy, they are mixed, and then you just buy from factories. They're also good uh, for these rabbits, because majorly they've got a balanced diet, the good thing with parrots, pellets. And then uh, this can push us next number here, number five. At least two points to keep a rabbit healthy. Yes, what do you think we should not to keep a rabbit healthy, okay? Now we can say here, for a rabbit to be to keep it healthy, number one, we, sh we should maintain hygiene of the rabbit, okay? This is very important to note. Rabbits, when rabbits stay in a, in a clean environment, in good hygiene, then they will be healthy. It's very important. We can also talk about pro proper feeding. When rabbits are fed properly, yes, they will be healthy. They grow properly. They produce more because uh, they are fine. They are doing well. So this is good to check on this proper feeding of rabbits. Then, uh, yes, also uh, 
you can talk about vaccination. Yes, vaccinate your rabbits. This can help you, yes, to, to control the most spread of disease within rabbits. Then uh, we can go move to next number here, number six. You asked, uh, list the four common diseases of rabbits. Yes, we have heard of this, okay, uh, last time. Yeah, we talked of uh, uh, the ear scabies. She talked of the coccidiosis. Uh, we talked of uh, pneumonia. Uh, yes, don't forget tapeworms. Yeah, these are very common diseases in rabbits. And then remember, for coccidiosis, is very common in both rabbits and poultry. So you can be asked, which disease is very common in both rabbits and poultry? That is uh, none other than coccidiosis. Come to number seven here. We ask, write two symptoms and uh, prevention of, ra of disease, of diseases. Like what? Let's just say of diseases of disease like a, a disease like uh, ear scabies, okay? Such a disease uh, is so is very common in rabbits. So we can look at first the symptoms. Symptoms simply means can mean symptoms and signs, okay? Uh, what can you look on and say, ah yes, this bit rabbit is suffering from such a disease. Rabbits which have got ear scabies, majorly they have uh, brown scabies inside brown scabs inside the ear canal. Uh, talk of which leads to swelling of the ear canal. If you check properly in the ear canal, we find swelling. Uh, still, uh, another kind of uh, symptom, you look at uh, swelling and the painful ears. When you look, check on the ears, they are, they are swollen. And try to touch them, the, bar, the, the rabbit will actually be feeling so much pain and trying to resist. And uh, then there is a shaking of the head. This is also very common in your scabies. Then uh, the part of prevention or treatment, you know we say prevention is better than cure, which is very important. So we can look at first prevention. You can say in the, uh, preventing ear scabies. Talk about quarantine. You have to quarantine your animals, okay? Meaning isolate the affected rabbit. Keep it in a separate room and then treat from there. And then those which are normal ones also in separate rooms. Still, I uh, keep the hatch clean. This is a very good way, okay, of preventing rabbit diseases. Very important to note. Once rabbit hatches are very clean, it can keep you safe, can keep your rabbit safe. And then uh, if you find that uh, they are fallen sick or not even, try to always invite a veterinary doctor. Actually, you can not say a doctor, you can say a veterinary officer. This is a, a specialist in treating animals. Let's say if they are cattle, they are birds. Yes, this is very important to note. Uh, and then uh, we can move on here. Yeah? We are asked to list the importance or oh, any importance of rabbit farming. Yes, please try yourself out there because we have looked at this. Uh, rabbits are kept for very many importance. I actually find that. Uh, People in Rwanda have sorted to related to uh, rearing of animals because farming is very important. So please check why do we why do we should do what do you think we keep rabbits? Check yourself there, and then uh, we can say can go to next number here. We asked how can we use the skin of a rabbit? Please, yeah, check yourself. There are many things as we discussed. You look at uh, points of rabbit skins. Note this in your books. Yes, yeah, well, this is very important. Uh, as we move on. Let us look at a puzzle below. We see how we can answer this. And I told you last time, uh, it is quite interesting when you are looking at different work. And I look at a puzzle form to help you to think properly and answer this question. So you asked him, yes, the part five, which is like our last part in this, this work here. Yeah, so look at the puzzle given. Sometimes they can give you a puzzle where they are feed words. Where you shall just choose words. The, the criteria used there. Check on the word which you want to look for. Okay, look at one word for the statement given and then fill the word. What each 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 here box should have a letter to make sure that you have a right or correct spelling of each word which is specific for that. So uh, I just you see about this puzzle here. So you are given clues here, like here, we have begun here. Across, you can see through here. When you look across, you can check 
uh, in a row, that is, that is uh, horizontally, for the columns vertically, you can easily get the right answer, fill in. So we have first come here. From uh, just our discussion we had, we discussed about male rabbit. So they are saying, for number three, the male, the male of the rabbit. What name is given to this, okay? Yeah, if we are, we are to remember, the answer which we can expect here in number three, okay? This will be a back. You can say back. So check here. Write the word back here. Try yourself there and write the word back here. That's uh, okay. B U C K. You can see that will be very fine and then uh, to be correct for that point. And then yeah, we are given here in the, the box for uh, the statement says originating in or characteristics of a distant foreign country. This can simply mean uh, an exotic animal. So from foreign, from outside, okay? Foreign, foreign animals. So come here. We check. Animals to originate from foreign countries. How do you call them? Yeah. The answer which you can expect here will be exotic. So let us check. Try and put here in number four. Go by the, this kind of row here like this. So from number four put here. Exotic. Yes. That would be fine. And then now uh, we go down, move to this point here. You give an yes, box one. The statement is, says, it is the house of a pet rabbit. Yes, we check our soul from what we discussed. Where is number one in the box here? Number one, yes, move vertically. Yes, we can check here, hatch. If you check here, you will fill in with corresponding in each box. It gives the word, right word, that's hatch. Yes, and then uh, this takes us the last question of our puzzle. Uh, the female of the rabbit, okay? Yes, uh, let me leave this with you. Think about this, and then if in the puzzle, this will take us to the end of our, our session today. So I need to thank you so much for being with us today. Yes, we have looked at a different couple of activities, questions in this topic of rabbit farming. So uh, from the summer we have made, we have come to the end of this topic. And uh, I just say that uh, for this time, yes, make sure you make your revision. As we come back next time, we'll be looking at a different topic or subtopic that we move on. Yes, I still say uh, stay blessed as you watch and keep tuning on BTN TV. Thank you.